Onibadia's platform and my eyes just grabs a comment someone's comment before i you know scrolled i just grabbed that comment i heard i saw the person saying Onibadia, so are you sure you have papa Riano's address that was the comment i saw and i said what um i was a little, trying to wait to hear him to see if he would see the comment it was uh about a yes was about his comment i was waiting to see if he would respond but maybe he didn't see it yet but i just needed to get out anyway i wanted to do one or two things so i, I got out of um, tiktok and um i sent a message to you it is of no significance again because i know you take care of yourself you are yeah, if you say you have someone at this why are you coming here to tell me drop your location? <laughs> so I mean, I know that it's, it's not. Um, well, I pray it's not possible. Uh, so that was why I sent you that message. That this is what I saw. I I hope all you are well, but I know you are unstoppable. That was. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, just let this this slide. Let, let this slide. We just have a little more time. A little more time to go, and everybody will get all of will get all of this. And they will be called. The most important thing is to see that the Nigerian police get all of these kids arrested, put them all behind bars, and they get to snatch their teeth and suffer the, the rest of their life. Exactly. They are not meant. They are not. They are not free people, and are not meant to be among free human beings. Yes. In addition to that, I believe. I believe they just want to silence us, because why would you? Why would you uh, remove someone's freedom? Of speech, why would you want to silence that? Look at Baba Mubad when he was in Abu, uh, was it Abuja? Yes, they wanted to kidnap him. Why to silence him? Was he talking about against any oba or anything to silence him? So, all this uh, was the the, 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 the the voice notes, it was this against oba. No, it's a tactic to silence us, but we are unstoppable, we, we will not be silenced. So that's it. It's not because it, uh, someone particularly have did a particular scene or had a particular voice. No, no, they just you know want to use that as a reason. But really, they want to just silence us. That's what it is. That's that's my solution. Yes, no one is scared uh, of all of these things. These are the things that are done before those days where soldiers wake up and they go after people, pick them up. It's something culturally related. So yeah. When you see me condemning some certain things as Syrians in our culture as people as Africans, um, it is time you see, it is very common that it is more it is there's high chance of you having a European child or an American child understanding their rights, their child rights act. Okay, their child rights. Now, if their parents abuse them, abuse the law. There's a law in the state in the Child Rights Act that the parents cannot abuse the child. We too we are subscribed to the Child Rights Act. We have it in Nigeria. But do we follow it? If a child, if a parent abuse a child, that parent has committed a crime, both in Nigeria and from where these laws are coming from. But abroad, those kids understand their rights. They can take their parents <laughs> to, to, to court or to the police. But how many times can I, uh, how many times have we heard that an African child takes their father to the police for beating him? That is the first story. You know, they are right, right, right. They are taught in, in class. There's a special. But we, we have the right. We have, we have the law, but we don't use it. Well, we use yes, God. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Because we are not taught in school. It's from right from when they were young, from four, five years old, that they are taught all these rights. My my son came up one day. Came home one day, he was just four years old, or was he five? And he said that my teacher taught me how to press um, 911 if um, anybody, my parent beat me or if anybody beat me. He, t he came home and told us that day. We said, What? They taught you that? He said, Yes. And, and that is why, imagine I am the governor of Lagos State now. All this law will enforce it. I will enforce all of this law and make sure that they are very active. Very, I mean, very swift. We have all of these laws. They are not active. And you encourage the citizens to make use of their law. Don't come and cry that somebody's cheating on you. Nobody has a right to infringe your rights. Nobody can step on you. Nobody can even beat you, slap you. All these police, if you, anybody that beat you, slaps you, there has to be immediate actions. Once you take one, two person set on as, an, as an example, the remaining becomes history. The remaining case begins to grow down that they begin to grow that way and they live that way. And that's the success of the society. Because what we see, for example, there was a guy they called 
King White. The guy came here one other time and he was issuing, I mean, his own fake threat. I mean, threat, but I mean, fake threat. His younger brother was there. The younger brother, maybe like maybe 10 or 9 or, or, or 8. See your own elder brother issuing such threat that, okay, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to get on the corner. I'm going to block your way. That guy is learning. You are passing it to, that, to the other generation. That person is automatically learning. Okay, this is the solution, right? Okay, whenever I have anybody come to me, I'm going to do the same thing. He keep repeating over and over and over. But they being ahead, I mean, he said about us, okay, I'm going to report to the police. I'm going to go to the police. Or I'm going to call the police immediately. And then call it. Whenever that person has a problem, they will do what they see. So what are these different characters that we have in our society? If we begin to evaluate them, we will we'll know the reason why our society is the way it is. I mean, we we'll know that, yes, we made this society. There's nothing, we don't need to be crying. We made this society to be here. Our anger, we cast it. We take things into our hands. And then it becomes a system. Even when the law is there, but there's what they call habit. We already have the habit of doing it our own way. So, then we see, then we see it. The society becomes what we have made it to be. Good afternoon, all. Um, Papa, yeah, can I ask you a question, please? Ask, ask the house a question. Okay, I'll ask the house a question. Um, but I did ask, um, I was asking you because I forwarded um, um, uh, a thing to you this morning where a lady was saying that um, under the law, under the Nigerian law, that Baba has no right to any of Mubad's property. That the way things stand, even if um, the Wumi did a DNA and uh, it turns out that Mubad is not the biological father, the fact that he accepted Liam as his son when he was alive means that he is his father and everything he owns well, is his. Is that correct? Um, you know, sorry, I don't, um, okay. Yeah. You know, first of all, I must tell you, right? Yeah. All of these things, what I read about, I read about this, uh, this DNA stuff, like, there is no direct law in Nigeria that um, states um, how DNA, I mean, DNA tests can be granted by the court. Okay, but there's a process. There's a process on how uh, the, the, the the motion can be passed. The way it can, the procedure. Okay, for example, the interested party, child rights party, section sixty three, sixty seven. People quote that a lot. Okay, that one of the parts to the proceeding is going to bring sample. All right. So in this case, mobile is not alive, and so there's there's nothing that bring the grandfather in. It's not busybody. That person is just being blindfolded. Now, what the law says is that paternity issue, request of DNA test, they are all under family matter issues. They are family matters, family matter issues. Okay. Okay. And, and again, there is this presumption that says that um, section one sixty seven of the evidence at twenty eleven that any child born into a valid marriage, that child belongs to that man, to that ma marriage. So, automatically by that law, baby Liam belongs to Mubad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but now, since there's a family issue here, the law says that, but this presumption can be challenged, can be refuted with a valid reason to the court. Okay. The law did not tell us whether, uh, which party or no party, okay. But that's a presumption that is left for the court to determine upon application to the court, the court will give verdict on that. And sometimes the court judgment is not always based on the particular provisions, the particular act of law that is available. Sometimes the judge will give judgment based on similar cases that this country has, that this country has, uh, I mean, judged before, based on similar cases that has happened, yes. which uh, the judgment was given. So sometimes it will be it will be redrawn, it will be recalled. All right. So now in this particular case, everybody, there's only one statement you should say. It's a family matter. And it has to be resolved as a family matter in the court. Okay. All this one they are saying, Baba doesn't have right, Baba have right. Can they show us anywhere in the Nigerian constitution where it says that the grandparent of a child do not have right, do not have right for um 
the grand parentage that is confirming requesting for a DNA test of the grandchild. There is no such law. And can they show us where it is the only person who can request for the DNA of a child must be the father. All those such languages not there. People misuse languages. Okay? But now what the law says is that it is, if it is under family matter law. It's family matter. So as family matter, they can consider the child right, the best interest of the child. They can look at the situation, okay, that is making the family because this person was married into the family and they are in the customary court again, mm -hmm. magistrate court, which customs are also looked into. Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong about I want to come with arguments like, I mean, over time, um, the testimony of the defendant, that is the wife, has opened my eyes to so many things that I never knew those things were happening. Okay? One, uh, the lady talk about placenta. Would you popularly know the way placenta has been treated as Yoruba persons, culturally? Mm. We don't know how she treated the placenta till today. Mm. It is obscure. Okay, left for us to know by information from left and right, okay, that is in fact it's not giving us boldness to want to really um, to, to really trust whether or not this will belongs to the family. It's a shame. She's, she has allowed her misbehavior of the past. She go to the public talking about placenta. Baba Mubad never talked about placenta in the public. She brought that case to the public. And Baba Mubad was surprised that ah, placenta. In the corona inquest, Wumi was the first person who took the uh, placenta case to the public. And when he brought it to the public, then Baba begins to wonder, like, I mean, placenta, placenta, ah. And now, as Baba, since it's brought to the public, then now how did, how was it treated? Then now, it is left for us. It is left how was it treated? Then now, it is left for Oh my God, can you please be muted, Dr. Sahan? Now, that is a blank space. I'm giving her expo, now maybe she's watching me. Expo, Apariano, don't play. Now, the placenta has drawn us to a ground of contestation, okay? And now, considering the fact that even before um, the birth of that time, how, how about her pregnancy? She came to Baba in the seventh month of 2023, claiming that she wants a baby, okay? And all of those times, okay, if we look into the time she claimed that she was pregnant, which was, Baba said she came on the month of July, which they have to establish. Yeah. As long as she came in the month of July, according to, according to Baba, August, she said she missed her period. So she must be either three weeks pregnant or some weeks pregnant. So from August, according to her now, she's the one shooting herself. She said she was pregnant for 10 months. Mm -hmm. 10 months. Now, if you add August, if you add Ten months to August, mm -hmm. August, September, down to May. It means she should be giving birth at May. That's the ten month, but she gave it in April. This can only tell us that she was already one month pregnant on July before she came to Baba. <laughs> Again, where is she bringing this child from? So there's a clear manipulation from her side. That's right. And now, not only that, and now not only that. Okay, fast, 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 fast tracked to. So many individuals coming, beating the father, beating the father for no reasons, mm. for reasons that cannot be corroborated, like Samilari, mm. bringing guns, okay, claiming that he was sent by Oba's side at the Malay Legushi, all right, for reason only known to them, okay. And now, um, when we look at all of this together, okay, and you guys promise to be coming after him all the time for reason best known to you guys, mm -hmm. then there is a uh, there is a problem here. There's a problem here that um, we may begin to question whether or not these people are right because these are the public right and this information is in the public. Mm -hmm. And it's not good. Please don't be speaking, please, so that I don't miss it. It's not good for this child to go up, see himself in the midst of all of this doubt. It's better resolved now that he grew up without anybody bullying him. Okay? Because the, it will be, it's going to be, remain a talk of the public. In fact, even throughout his lifetime, especially if the child wants to come out for some for any position, wants to represent himself in any official um, position, whatever, the history is already there outside there. That where where did your mother take the placenta to? That um, when were you pregnant? When was your mother pregnant? Your mother was pregnant on July, on August. When your mother says she was pregnant for ten good months. Ten months. How did the magic happen? She says she was pregnant for ten months, and Baba said the pregnancy started August. Ten months plus August, she was one month pregnant. Because she gave it April. She's supposed to give it May, but she gave it April. So again, this for me, I think um if you associate this with the fact that Mobat have 
um, um, Mubad, Mubad have cases with the Malians, all right? His properties is on the line, and this property ought to be transferred to the um, to the legit heir. That's the next succession, all right? And then with all of this confusion on the ground, we just want to have a DNA test to ensure that this child belongs to this lineage and treat the child properly the way every child of this line, lineage okay it's supposed to be treated and as a result of that because of the lineage the lineage is needed to be established and the inheritance purposes these two reasons lineage and inheritance can give us um a way okay can give us a way can give us a headlight to having a dna and this is up to the court it is up to the court uh it's up to the court to pass the judgment they would have heard a convincing reason but i don't expect what i'm about to go and be saying that they are looking for dna test because they want to establish the reason why my was killed no judge on earth will ever allow such who are you you want to use to establish why somebody was killed only the police can ask for dna to establish the motive only the police can establish the motive why you committed a crime Killing somebody is a crime. It is not your job as a family to, to go and establish who killed your son. It's the job of the investigators. After they have discovered that we may have committed a crime, now they may want to go and request for DNA of that time to see whether indeed that time is the reason why we did what she did. First, they have to find out what did she do. Then now, go to motive why she did so. But you cannot go to motive because motive can de deceive you. That child can be Mubat's child. And we will still kill Mubat. Is it possible? That child can be Mubat's child and something happened, cheating or whatever, and we will still kill Mubat. That child may not be Mubat's child and we don't have a hand in Mubat's birth. So all these conditions are there. That's why you have to establish what did she do. Like me, if I want to nail me on the ground, even as things stand right now, I'm going to hold me on negligent. I don't think any woman in their right senses will allow the husband of their first child to suffer painfully okay in that unbearable head condition as described by the nigerian police i don't think any woman will do that so for you to neglect her i think something must have happened so tell me did you guys quarrel is there any witness that there was a quarrel yes there was a quarrel oh okay that, if there was a quarrel what was the quarrel about are you sure the quarrel is not about um Fidelity, infidelity. Are you sure it's not about this? Okay. If it's not about that, okay, no problem. We will try to do our job to check to see the different reasons. Then now, the police will have the court order to go do DNA on that child to clear that area. And when that area is not the reason, then they go to another area. They will check so many areas. People keep for so many reasons. But you have to check every of these reasons to see which one that match. You must find you must find, you must find one that match. So uh logically this is how I think I can address but anybody saying that uh, the court cannot grant um DNA order for baby Leon DNA to be done. I mean I want to call them baby lawyer. Any lawyer, no lawyer can say so. Don't preempt the court. If you're a lawyer, what you are watching me, I will tell you do not preempt the court. Yeah, you shouldn't preempt it. Yes, Let me just add there are past judgments that can be referred to. Go on. Yeah. You have spoken at length and I think you covered you covered it all. Yes, you are correct. There's so many instances where the putative father might need to be determined, like in the US now. And um you have a child, the future was born in a marriage, the father, the husband is automatically determined to be the father of the child. However, if they go to court, if the woman wanted, if they are separated and she wanted child support for instance, and they go to court, and the man claimed, the mommy claimed no, she was promiscuous, she, we, there are instances like that, I'm not the father, I'm very sure I'm not the father, and there was an argument in the family court, the judge will um, request that the DNA be done, they want to ascertain the, 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 father, the, the putative father of the child. So there are instances where we may go out and above, out of the normal thing, something may happen that would trigger a situation to arise, even regarding the paternity of a child. For instance, even a, a woman may decide not to go for child support in the US, 
why maybe she conceived the child under a very you know grievous reason she might be she might have been raped you know because there are so many of them that want money they, they want some benefits for themselves and their children and the law in u.s is that first of all where is the fact if a woman comes in now with a child that she needs benefits she needs housing she needs shelter she needs food the first thing the government will ask her is where is the father of your child now she now may begin to say oh i cannot give details because it i'm, I'm traumatized the way i consider the child i know him i'm traumatized blah 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 they will look at the reasons and they will they, they, will, they will not pursue the father of the child because normally the father of the child must pay child support while the government will take now you know give that money they will take it from the father directly and then they'll give the money send the money they will remit it to the mother they will take it from the father from his direct from his pay his job from his employer salary slip and they will give it to the mother but when they see that it's not it's traumatic to pursue that they will overlook it they will leave the father alone because you, she may say the memory aggravates me so we say it's true domestic in violence particular case, in this particular case um for me I think something intelligently can be done. Oh, Papa, about to do That's where I'm going to, Papa Riano. In this particular case, in this very particular case, assuming Mobile was alive now, fine, we know that he's the one that is rightfully authorized to request for DNA. But in his absence, and with everything that has happened, with everything, this woman, like you said, as a matter of fact, the father even confirmed that his, uh, his son told him that she was promiscuous based on that and with his death, his death and the situation surrounding his death you said it all the situation surrounding his death the the hush hush the 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 um um dubious the dubious nature of you know how they are trying to conceal how he died is enough to question what is the motive behind this boy's death who could have been behind it and they need to turn over every stone to see. exactly they need to go further and go deeper and that's the reason why the father of mubad uh, is, has a legal right to request for it at this point it's part of investigation i want to just tip in that it is also important there are some things that one can also do that one about will completely deny that that child do not belong to the family and now the burden will be like will be on women to prove to baba at all cost including dna that that child belongs to mobat not that we're trying to prove women have to come and prove if women claim that the child belongs to Mubad, then prove it yeah exactly so we they can they can go about it two ways baba and that is why, that is why they are trying they are trying to drop aloba as a name for that baby and then also they are trying to see that okay if inheritance is the reason why you are coming about for us we don't want inheritance we don't want your name but that's not enough that's why i put lineage the man want to confirm yes. that baby belongs to the lineage forget about inheritance that lineage must be part of it yes and then do you know there is another thing baba mubad said it may not be you know tenable in court i don't know how they accept traditional um reasons in court um baba mubad said that it is against this lineage is lineage to accept uh, a child from outside the bastard child it affects them it affects the generation it affects the welfare of his lineage so i don't know how far that is tenable in court but that's another reason no, it, it, it is tenable it's a civil case uh, exactly. and again it's gonna be it's gonna be treated in a in, in a customary court where customs are highly welcome <laughs> Yes, and uh, good God's love. Are you very much convinced now? All of those kids, tell them to come here. They don't. They, they know where to go. They don't come here. God's love. Are you there? God's love. Invite them to come. That's why what I did from the beginning. I like to bring all of them here. Let them come and do that. Their argument here. Let's see what. They always come. They they can make noise elsewhere. One was even saying that even if the court gives order, um, he he's going to have it challenged. Why would the court give such order? Come on now. Huh? Are you preempting the court? <laughs> no lawyer will ever advise to preempt the court. That, upon application to the court, we will see. It lies on we will see. But you can give your presumptions, you can you can assume, you can predict, but do not preempt the court. 
it can go the other side. Hello, Mimi. Go on, Mimi. What was the question you're about to ask, Mimi? And Joy Marke, you're also welcome. I do apologize, Papa Riano. I didn't realize I had muted myself. Thank you so much for clearing that. This morning, when I heard that, I tell you, I um, I almost burst out in tears thinking everything everybody's been doing, what you guys have been doing for us, just to see that justice is served. If what she, this lady, was saying, then um, all our time would have been wasted, every effort would have been in vain and all of that. But um, thank you for clearing that up. I can... Um, I'll have a better day now. <laughs> thank you, and thank you, my girl. Okay. Well, too. Thank you so much. Yes, okay. Yeah. Anyway, go on next. Uh, Mimi Bounds, do you have your question? Or it has been answered. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, my first question is, I heard about the GoFundMe has been endorsed by you. Is it true or not? Yes, it has been endorsed by me and I paid $200 to encourage everybody to go pay okay. so you can try your best to also pay. Yeah. So, um, I'm not in Nigeria, so how can we pay from where I'm at? If you want to pay, you just have to go to my profile page and the link is there. You click on the link, it will take you to the GoFundMe. You will see the amount you choose. I'm okay. putting your card. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Good and, um, let, me, let me know if you're facing any difficulty so we can have people to guide you from the life. Okay, thank you. Um, another question is, I have, I mean, it's not concerning that. I've been, there are two words. I mean, I think like three or four. I can only remember two now. I just want to know the meaning of them. One is that you guys always say, Kiniko, Kiniko. What's the meaning of that? Ask Dr. Esther. Dr. Esther, I give a scientist. <laughs> What's the meaning of that, ma'am? Papa, Rano, you don't come again. Or what's Kiniko, Kiniko? I, I don't know. What's the question, please? Um, the question is, I just want to know the meaning. I'm, I've been like hearing it a lot, so I'm so curious. So what's the what's the meaning of um, Kiniko, Kiniko, Kiniko? Oh, okay. Am I saying, <laughs> am I saying okay. the right thing or not? You, you, I, you, you might not. Um, I think you, you're saying it because there's a Yoruba word called Kiniko, and it means something. Kiniko means something, but it depends on the context oh, okay. for which is being used, you know. I may say, Kiniko Timo, Timo Ro. That means something I'm thinking about. If I say, uh, it, it depends on the context that is being used. So, uh, if you don't understand. No, no, she's asking, she's asking literally, huh? what's the meaning of Kiniko Kiniko? Uh-huh, that's another one. <laughs> <laughs> you know the answer. This is Papa Ria. No, 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 yes, 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 yes. Go ahead, let's go on. No, no, you tell her, you tell her, you can tell her in the best, I mean, the way. Kiniko, I just said, Kiniko, Kiniko. Let me tell you, me too, I'm not so fast in your Yoruba language, though. I'm done, I'm trying, I just try my best. You are Yoruba now? Of course I'm Yoruba, but I don't know the Ijile Yoruba now. You are more Ijile than I am. Ah, no, no, no. Me just said I'm not Yoruba. I just want to go for me, so this is about you. If I'm your wife, we can't. Kiniko, Kiniko means something. It's something. You know, the, 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 the Kiniko, Kiniko, uh, how will I say it? Kiniko, Kiniko, it means so and so. So and so. Something like that. Yeah, so and so. And so, so yeah. Depends on the context. Thank you. And you also have Kiniko, you know? That's a great thing. Exactly. Kiniko. That's another thing as well. So. Thank you very much. You threw me under the bus. <laughs> no, you mean to do that? <laughs> no, not you, Jari. I mean, Papari, I know. <laughs> okay, the, as, I saw someone says that it's like you say blah blah. Okay, I got it. Okay, there's another one you say, Edjo. Oh my goodness, you have to pay for this. <laughs> Edjo is please. Please, oh, okay. Yes, okay. Please, Thank please. you so much, Dr. And it also depends also if it is plural or singular. If, it, if it's one person, you can just say jaw. That means you're talking to one person. If there are many, you can say a jaw. But, I mean, I've seen situation where uh, when we're talking to our elderly, not even our same situation, when you're talking, if you say a child talking to an elderly, you can say a jaw as a sign of respect. It's also the same thing you say to a group of people, a jaw. They say a child can 
in that to an elderly person age or is a sign of respect. So the easiest way to know it since you're learning your band, if you're learning the verbs, if you want to use the word a, a is a plural you is a plural you a second person plural okay mm -hmm. and to mean um you so found if let me say you want whatever verb that you want to conjugate in Yoruba, once you put a in front of that verb it becomes for many people example a did a joku a malo yeah. so the a a the if i just say a jo means like you please literally it's like you please okay because a the a means you so a jo means please Okay. Or literally for the start, just use the straight one, Jo, Jo, Jo. Then later, in a language you get polite over time. Okay, thank you so much. Mm. Be careful not to get the, get up. <laughs> get up. But, but, but that kinikon kinikon is like something somehow. A, a kind of something, like one so kinikon kinikon. Like it's not mentioning something like, just something like. It means something like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like a redundant. Just you don't want to, but we, it's just like you, you like that word. You hear? Yeah, okay. I love it. I love it. It's, it's day, kine 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 kine. So nice. I love it. They're, they're, they they are, they are, they are, they are a lot. I will, I will, I will write them down whenever. Get yourself. I, can, we can get to a Yoruba teacher if you want. I mean, there are so many people who can volunteer. <laughs> that to would teach be you. nice. Okay. Yes, I mean there's so many of them that comes around. There's any American returning want to come back to the country once learn your bar. Yeah, I, I will when you become a governor. After, I, I said I said it last time. I know it was a message I sent. You said you, when you become a governor, I'm gonna denounce my citizenship and come to Ah yeah, if I become a governor just in Lagos now. In Nigeria. In Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria. It means a lot. When I saw that I said when I saw that I have not I don't think I have ever seen something that surprised me as much as that. I have to ask, are they doing a comedy split or uh, is it some comedy show or something? Tell me no. That is serious. It's, it it actually came in front of the camera to say that we should the children should be glad that it's not a serial killer. Who would say that in the diaspora? And the neighbor of such a person will not have called 911 immediately or whoever knows or saw that video first and they would they will call the cops they will pick him up immediately to explain himself you don't just talk tackles like that and he's able to say that and nobody's raising eyebrows the government are not because they say these things they can't tell me that one person or the other has not seen it and shared it they do see it and they're not that alone is enough to pick him up to come and explain it to come and to lock him up we should be glad that you are not a serial how do we know what will trigger you to become one whatever may not be triggering you now or might have not have triggered you so far may eventually trigger you after you made that statement and then we'll find people dying somewhere not knowing that it is you that's a big one that is total insanity they will, they, they will dust it in for normally to come out oh, that's I was asking who does he want to be killing Nigerians or Europeans or Americans who in Nigerians now Nigerians, so it's Nigerians that you oh, are taking that lightly. Uh, we are happy with such Mali. Look it as if, uh, what? I did a double take when I saw that. I said, Maybe you'll be killing Yoruba because it's in Yoruba land, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't joke with that because we have so many serial killers here. And you'll be, some are fathers of children, some are husbands at all. They live a double life. We don't know who they are. They are looking for more serial killers every day. So you going to come out on social media and say to the world that you all should be glad I'm not a, uh, a serial killer. Glad? That means you are potentially one. For you to think it and telling us we should be glad. You are potentially, you, you, there is 99% chance that you already won or you are soon to be won. You are not going to go scot free. You will be picked up. That makes my night I mean Nigeria. I wonder how we play with human lives a lot too much. Because that's endangering human lives already. 
Leaving that on the loose, such a person on the loose, we are potentially endangering human lives in Nigeria. And the government should be doing something about that. It should be answerable to that. It should be locked up. It's not even good for his, for his career, the kind of thing he does. How can you a musician? How can you a musician be coming out and saying that people should be appreciating you? But who do you want to kill, Boss Lady? Or whom? Or do you want to kill uh, TSL? <laughs> you guys should be appreciating Naramali. Okay, Boss Lady, TSL. And Lady Harris, you guys should be appreciating Naramali. I don't, I don't think Naramali actually killed Mobad, though. Paparriano, I donated. You didn't see my donation. When, when was that? A day ago. <laughs> you lied. I don't believe you. I'm not lying. Why would I lie about that? Why didn't you put your name there? Because I'd like to be private. For instance, if I'm a woman now and you get me pregnant and I give birth, the child is not yours. Is that what no, Nigeria? No, no, we are saying under Section 167 of the 2011 Evidence Act says that any child that is born into a valid marriage belongs to that marriage that is the father has full responsibility the child is legitimate child of that man unless proven otherwise to a good reasons by the court order that presumption stands so as it stands now what that means is that for example when was pregnant when she married to mubad she gave birth to her baby in a valid marriage. So that child is automatically Mobad's child by law. That's what the law says. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Does it make sense to you or not? You're not speaking. Where, where are you? Are you lap pio <laughs> me answering you at the comment section is the same as I'm responding to. So now, as it stands now, uh, uh, Liam is Aloba's grandchild. As until proven otherwise, just otherwise. like TSL read the law. But have you people check? Has the, that law not been amended? It's 2011. Uh, maybe you can check for that. But I mean, as far as I know, um, you can just Google it. Um, check the presumption. Just type the presumption that a child born into a valid marriage belongs to the marriage. Then you will see. But so far it's 2011 that I see the latest. Maybe we have 2015. Or... <laughs> but it's a valid law. It's a law that is valid. I mean, even common sense tells you. You marry a pregnant woman. The woman gave birth into you. The woman gave birth. I mean, who else will go and stand when she gave birth? She gave birth into your marriage. You will receive the child. You will receive the child in your marriage. What about the DNA proof otherwise? Huh? What about if the DNA proof otherwise? That's what the law says. Unless DNA proves otherwise. Unless, but the presumption is that there is an assumption, there is an assumption that that child belongs to you because you are the you are the you are the husband of the of the wife. If you are not comf comfortable, then go and seek court order and do DNA. But no law will come. Nobody will come and say that oh oh oh, they own that child. By law, that child belongs to you. Someone said in the in the comment section that Mubad did not know she was pregnant. <laughs> How can Mubad not know for a good nine months that Mubad was pregnant? Mubad saw her pregnant. That and question? Accepted it. There was a picture of Wumi and uh, Mubad and um, what's that guy's name? His friend. So if he didn't know, why did they take that picture? Who's that person that said that? I think he, he uh, uh, M M I or whatever. She's in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, she's here. M I M I Mimi something. Yeah, Mimi. Is it Mimi Bounce? Ah, ah, okay, okay. She's the one asking for Kinikan Kinikan. Hello. So, we 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 must do them. Papa Riano. Mm. Yeah. Hey Joe, what's the meaning of all that pew pew? Sorry, uh, please. Let the ladies answer. That was a that was a mistake. Okay. No, lap pew pew means knocking, like having sex. Lap pew pew. That is the wrong definition. Thank you. It's not in Yoruba. Not in Yoruba. It's what? Like it's not me having sex. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm live on lead, guys. I'm live on to TikTok. I'm gonna mute you. You guys can be chatting. Let me quickly respond to this side. Play, Babano, before you go, can you play that song of Mubad that talk about Thursday? Alleged that Mubad's father is associating with those who bullied her husband just 24 hours before his demise. According to New Telegraph, during the investigation into the sudden demise of Mubad, his childhood friend, Prime Boy, was a prime suspect in the controversy surrounding his buy. Taken to his Instagram page on Friday, Prime Boy shared a copy of the petition filed against Wumi. Although the content... And that is why sometimes, in as much as VDM to talk, that is why sometimes we need people like him around. That's one of the reasons why I don't fight that boy. No matter how that boy annoy me. One day if I say I'm a go come come. But I will not fight him properly yeah, because we still need that boy around. Someone says Sony support bullying. Absolutely not. But they don't I am. It's just like saying because your husband divorced you, then three weeks later you buy. Now your husband buy you. Or because your husband cheated on you. You can't buy one month later that your husband buy you. Let's deal with the cheating separate from the buying. Afar, we do adura for Mubad. We put hands together like this. We pray for Mubad. Afar, we, 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 we tie bed sheet for him. That far talk, say, Naira Mali say you never see him over a year. This prime boy, this will mean. Mubad, Papa, make all of them come talk with Yapun. All of them saw him within 24 hours of his demise. <laughs> Ex doll official say you are a liar. He won't talk liar, he spell liar because Mama be like old liar. She get the sense of old liar. She lay him as egg. Now from egg, the Lori Bruko hatch come out. Egg doll. You so you supposed to remove the DOL, spell him as D-U-L-L. -L. Because now you don't pass for this entire generation. You are so dull that they don't even put you for Gen Z. Your dolling enter the next generation. Well, that's just the that's just the uh, bottom line. He's just calling out me together with Baba. Just come out and speak. I think I can put my camera out and put it so that you can see. <coughs> but please, who is he calling dull, dull head? Dull. Yeah, uh, it is I, true. I just felt this. I didn't hear what you guys were saying before now. I'm sorry, but yeah, I know that sounds like that phrase. Who is he calling dull head or whatever? Anytime he's doing his show, if you are familiar with his show like that, there are some people who are always coming for him in the comment section. So he will always nail them. He will, he will always rapture them according to him. He will first insult them before he raptures them. Like rapture meaning he will block them. They will never comment again. Oh, so anytime they bring any negative comments, he will just come at them like that. Oh. So I feel somebody, he, he, he has already interviewed Karimo, you know, um, I think last month, uh, sorry, last year, there about. And him being kind of on, the, on their sides, kind of, you know, because um, until now, he's now saying that, um, although this, this thing is not now, it was last month, it was, this video is 29th of March. So until now, that he's now saying that Umi should come out and talk. Why did he not say that all since? And some people have the opinion that uh, they are sure that he collected money from Karimo to interview her on his page. According to him, that when he interviews 
on his page you get about a million or so or more than and um why did he not just maybe go through Karimo again and interview or something like that that what went wrong for him now to call on all of them now to come and talk why did he not call them to come and talk before and in the video too he's also praising very dark man for all his uh, investigative um, analysis and all those things so you know it's just a question mark that kind of can you hear me yes sir yeah Eka -sama. Eka -sama. see i want us to deliberate on the next corona inquest which is on the 15th of may which is next month let's talk about the corona inquest what are we expecting them to do because as for me i'm expecting prime boy to speak on this ne the, on next corona inquest why are they just letting uh only prime boy prime i mean what's the cost sorry um spending only spending as you speaking for the two times uh the corona inquest was uh um when they started the first one spending speak yes the second one spending speak so are you and uh, me i'm hoping and i'm i wish they can let prime boy speak on this third corona inquest that uh, they're going to that is coming up on the uh, 15th of may my own point of view though because well, they cannot um, just allowing uh, only spending to be talking. They, sorry, Shakule, they can't be allowing only spending to be talking when others, when the other person is not talking. And the first one, they said the uh, boy, uh, what's his name, spending fainted or something. And the second one, they said the judge was sick. The third one, we don't want story from any one of them. Please, they should let Prime Boy speak on that next Corona inquest that is that is coming up on the fifteenth of May. Or what do you? I mean, what do, what can you say? What are you expecting? To me, I don't know how to put it, but I, I just hope they let uh, uh, Prime Boy speak. Okay, well, that, that's actually a good point, you know. But I, I'm sure that the new legal team have now sent some um, names to the magistrates to invite them to speak. I don't know if it will commence from the next inquest. I'm not sure, but I'm sure that they are they have worked on some new persons that they want to invite so that they can testify um to help the case but i hope i hope prime boy is also on the list and um another thing we need to talk about is that are we going to continue with this 30 minutes one hour inquest because if you continue with that we're not going to go anywhere because how, how long would that how can that help us considering the kind of um, time factor and every other thing the, the judge will just come and say she's sick, she's having headache, she's having cramps, she's having this, she's having that, and then she close the inquest. No, that's that's. Because I are, think, they, are, are they are they going to are they going to keep on telling us different stories? Uh, somebody is sick, somebody is break their neck, somebody something like this happen every time. When and we we still expecting more for Spendy though because Spendy uh, was in the house with um, Mobad um, few hours before the incident happened. So, Spendy still needs to tell us what led to that fight. Because it was there. They all went to the field together, come back home. It was there too, in the house. And the, I think the fight continued. What led to that fight? We must, they should, you should speak what led to that fight. And some of the bad friends. Yes, please, go ahead. I don't, I don't think Spending is going to give us anything extra than what he has already given us you understand he's not going to give us anything extra than what he has given already so if we're expecting more to that then i don't think it's it's just it because the, 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 he was the one that we invested a lot of hope a lot of hope on but where did that hope take us took us somewhere, somewhere we don't even know you understand so um i think maybe prime boy he should be able to at least shed more light and also counter spending on the last i think at the last inquest he was also saying that um, there was a punch on the prado glass i think so i think my boy should come at that and clarify things but me i don't think uh, spending is okay, going to give that, us anything extra okay that Okay, Mr. Kule, that means they should let a uh, prime boy speak then, because prime boy have one of two things to say. They should let prime boy speak on this next corona inquest. Yes, not only Isn't prime boy, prime boy, prime boy, the nurse, 
and some representatives of the hospitals, uh, Kuramed and Perez, uh, to come and affirm the time and the state of the body as at when the uh, as at the arrival. You understand? And then also, I think they should invite Yamubad to you know give us a particular time because she's one saying Monday now. You understand? They need to bring her back if she can come and affirm that Monday she's uh, emphasizing on. Then that can help us uh, move past this whole blah. That, that, that one is a police, that one should be police uh, job. Police need to summon the Yamubad for questioning, which is a personal questioning because nobody should go with Mama Mubad. If they, are, if they really want to do their job. And that woman must provide that proof evidences that Baba Mubad was the one that sent people to Mubad's house to stab him. They need to arrest that Mama Mubad for questioning. Then with proof well, that, I, oh, this is the proof. As it stands, the police will not do that. So in order for us not to invest too much of hope on them, they have written petition against Darosha. Till now, I don't think they have arrested Darosha. You get it? So, um, now so putting my mom... They say they are, do, they are doing everything. Uh, they doing, they doing, I remember when Chepateli went to station then. When she was doing video, uh, uh, the police said, uh, blah, blah, blah. You can see her, the way she was talking, that they are doing, the police, the police are doing their work. So why are they not, why can't they see all of those things that they're supposed to, would have done? They are not doing their investigation, I mean, investigating this, this case very well. They are not looking into some people, and the Baba needs to sue. Baba needs to arrest Yamubad to come and to give, bring the evidence out where Baba sent um, uh, uh, those people to go and stab Mubad. Because you cannot, you cannot just sit in somewhere in that room and Wumi is on the what's it called um, uh, uh, the phone telling Baba to say sorts of things, and that woman is saying different things every day, every day. People can't just sit down and be watching that woman like that. Honestly, I wish, I wish the corona inquest can even, they can even put Mama Mubad by inviting her to that corona inquest to say one of two things, to ask her some questions. I know she's going to like, uh, say what she actually know, what happened. You know, if, the, if Mumi is there, if Adra is there with that woman, she will not speak up, you know. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, that they need to bring her back to the inquest. Because there's a lot of things yes. she's saying now that, you know, I think it will be useful to help us in the case. So if we bring her back to the inquest, let them ask her que uh, some questions and let them um, cross-examine her. And based on some, some things that she's spilling out on social media and through some uh, media outlets, let them cross-examine her and let them confirm timing from her. The time now is of essence because you need to check who's lying or who's not lying. Because according to spending the last time, I think he was also guilty of that timing aspect. I think he said they called him around 1, 1 p.m. or so. That's nobody has a uh, fight. And then uh, I think the nurse said that he got to the place to treat Mubad around 2 or 3. Uh, I don't know. I stand to be correct there. So if this stands, that, 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 reminds that, me. Means... that reminds me, Mr. Kule, about that nurse that you just mentioned. Sorry, I interject you. If you remember the the mother of the nurses, the police the, the what the police read to the public is different from what a uh, nurse uh, wrote in a statement. So that uh, for that reason, the what's it called? The nurse needs to uh, be invited I mean, to that corona inquest to go and see who do you inject. She needs to defend herself now. Who did not uh, inject? Who did, at what point did you get to that house? When you get there, what did you see? Who called the nurse? Okay, said uh, prior and spend the rights. Okay, what now happened? Then if that's the case, something yeah. different now. Then if that's the case, eh, yeah, Allah for Marco, everybody, just like we used to say. Then the nurse's uh, her mother must also be invited. The nurse uh, mother will be invited to, to the inquest so that she can um you confirm what she said that her daughter did not do this her daughter did not do that uh, contrary to what her daughter said and you know there's too much of controversies about the nurse even our pictures uh, there, there, there's been a lot of fake pictures flying all over the internet of uh, which pictures. is not the nurse fake pictures so that nurse particularly there's a lot of interrogations that must happen about her own uh, account and the mother too should be invited because the mother too would be of help 
Because before the mother can say anything like that, she's confided Kule, in her mother. Did you see how many names? Did you, Mr. Kule, did you see how many names that Yanos mentioned? Hmm. Hmm. There's more to this, really. There's more to this. I just pray that this next corona inquest, they should not tell somebody fainted, somebody is sick. Anybody that is sick, at least from that day on the fifteenth of next month, that person to get better, better. And if you know you cannot handle it, please make, give it to someone. Let someone else take over this uh, case. Let someone else take yeah, over this corona inquest. We don't want story yeah. again. My only is that we should get that money in that GoFundMe so that it, it can be enough to pay the legal team so that we can be able to hold the legal team responsible because there are a lot of cases that the legal team need to work on. We are here yesterday analyzing on petitions that Mubarak wrote and signed before it by. And we also countered um, Obale Gushi, you know, that there was a particular time um, Samlari responded to that petition and he wrote on that his petition they published it on punch you understand his name then was samlari elegushi why is he bearing elegushi's name and elegushi later denied him after mubad has spy why did he not deny him before mubad spy do you understand so if he claims that he's denying samlari why did he not do that denial since last year august when that counter petition was published why is he now later when the people are now you know so furious about the matter and that is when you have come to you know this claim that you don't know samlari from nowhere but he, he, he published a petition with your name and then there was nothing and then now you're saying that you don't know him from nowhere i think if there's okay, a case that's 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 okay go on okay so thank you sorry let's assume that when Sam Larry was wearing Sam Larry Elegushi, let's just say, oh, maybe he likes the name, uh, the name of Elegushi, and he just feel like, okay, let me just add this name to my name because I like the name. Let's assume that way. So when the incident now happened to so Mubad now, and the name of Oba is being included in that, um, uh, what's it called, petition, that means the needs to invite that Oba for questioning as well what leads to social things because the police are not doing their work if they are doing their work they know what to do now they know honestly all this thing we are saying they could have invited him and questioned him and go and do more uh, investigation about what happened what leads to that um uh, petition you understand See, but that's so one of those things if you ask any lawyer if you ask any lawyer they will tell you that they when you want to write a petition against somebody you will have to bring some evidence some facts that will be able to tell that what you are writing against that person is actually fact or is actually the truth you understand so let's assume that Mubad gave evidences before that petition was granted of which all the names were mentioned you understand? So there was an evidence before that petition was published. And the police on the other end, they are supposed to do their job by inviting those persons and getting to know why that particular, you know, why, why they have been threatening the guy and threatening his whole career and everything. And even destroyed his property worth over five million naira. But they didn't do anything. Because if they did anything then, it, is, it was at that moment that the Oba should have disclaimed that he does not know Sam Larry. If they did their job at that time, the police would have disclaimed, uh, sorry, the Oba would have disclaimed that I don't know Sam Larry, I don't know what's my name doing in that petition. You understand? Exactly. But it means that they did not do their job. And that's why we have to uh, sue the police in that aspect. That is number one. The police, you sue them for not doing their job. Now, number two. When Sam Larry wrote, uh, wrote his own counter petition in August, he wrote a counter petition in August and he claimed that he is still bearing Elegushi Sam Larry. So, had it been the police have done their job, they would have also found out that this guy is not Elegushi. You understand? It's just more like I think they are piling petitions in that Alagma or wherever and they are not working on them. If that's the case, then why are people going to write petitions now? Because petition is more like useless. And that's why some people say that you want to write petition against the police. It's of no use. Whether you just do a lawsuit, spam to court, and then you guys you can win them. The Nigerian police force has been won severely in the court. So it's not